Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and a big thank you to everyone that comes to my channel and watches my videos and a big welcome to all the new people that uh, subscribe, please subscribe, like, share, do all, you know, press all them buttons. Uh, I'm, I can't bring the videos out on a, on a regular basis, at a regular time. Uh, my health is just up and down at the moment. Uh, I haven't been in my shed for a couple of months now. I'm, just, uh, I'm trying to get my strength back up to get out there. So in the meantime, uh, it might be a little bit boring, people, you know, with these reviews and all that. But I like this. I like to shop from eBay, and uh, I like to do reviews. And I'm about to show you uh, one of the other bargains I've just received, which, well, I think they're bargains. Uh, they suit my needs for what I need. So it might be cheap and nasty, but I've had cheap and nasty things that's lasted a long time. Anyway, uh, to the people that are uh, saying uh, they like my introduction, introduction. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, that was just a natural process for me on my last uh, channel. Uh, that I, I used that a lot. Uh, they said they like my deep voice, but I was thinking, you know, is there somebody out there that doesn't like my introduction? So I'll just, I'll, I was thinking about doing a, a different introduction every time. Uh, I'm going to do an introduction video to add on, add on to the beginning of my videos when I get to it uh, but you see I have epilepsy and going staying on a computer for long periods of time is is not the in thing for me to do now uh, I can only manage about half an hour uh, then as I, I start getting this sickness and dizziness feeling there uh, you know my brain's saying stop watching this stop doing this <laughs> uh, and my heart's just been a bit of a a bit of a loser at the moment. It's just going up and down. I'm back in AF. It's called arterial fibrillation. I suffer from that with the heart failure. So I have. Uh, I, I'm contending with this lot. I'm trying to get it on. I've been chewing on aspirin. Something rotten. That's a fact. You know when I when uh, I always chew. Uh, it's it's something the doctors recommend it too. You know if you if you're suspected of having an heart attack, literally chew on four aspirins. Chew them, eat them raw. You just put them in your mouth and chew them and then let them go down your throat. Because aspirin gets to your, your blood faster and things out faster so that you can get blood supply through your heart. Because uh, when before I had uh, a quadruple heart bypass, which they call it a cabbage by four, uh, I, uh, uh, there was only one of my tubes that was open. It was only open by something like 10%, I think. Something like that, not 20%. The rest of them were just completely blocked. And uh, hence the reason why I have a quadruple. Uh, and the one that was open, they, and uh, she gave me this towel. She, she stuck uh, in between my gum and my upper lip. And uh, that was uh, one of the towels, you know, that thins your blood out. And it, get, it goes in. It, that's the best place to start in your mouth anyway. You're not going to stick tablets anywhere else, are you, anyway? <laughs> anyway, uh, how's this for an introduction? Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, does that one sound good? I can do that, but it takes a little bit more uh, effort to do it that way. <laughs> anyway, it's time for me to stop babbling on. Uh, and did you see the uh, the news there? Uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump said he's what is it? The coronavirus or cor uh, Corona nineteen? And he said the US has got is uh, well prepared for it. And I thought, yeah, he's probably got all the companies that make body bags and they're on double time now. <laughs> uh, that's it, uh, Donald Trump, that's it. And uh, Harry, the, who's the daddy one in the royal family, <laughs> he's now called daddy now. You don't call him by his royal highness. He's not, uh, no longer a royal. Uh, I wonder what the truth is behind there. Is it that he's... Uh, Prince Charles had a DNA and found out he's not the daddy. <laughs> I don't know. But I wonder what is behind the story. He just said there's a lot of racism in the royal family. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, and it, it's it's weird. So, all right, Addy, you're one of us now. What does it feel like? Uh, that's what I can say. I hope, he, I hope he doesn't watch my channel. I'm actually going to email him and ask him to, look at, to watch, this, watch a, a video. I'm going to do a video about him. And uh, I'll email him, ask him to watch it. Uh, we'll talk a bit about his life now because he's one of us. He's a working class, isn't he? Uh, he's no longer sticking silver spoons up his nose. 
Uh, anyway, I'm going to get started on this. It's a review. I'm just going to put it as a review. So these comments at the beginning just don't. Uh, I don't put them open. Actually, better not do. <laughs> anyway, today I'm just going to get my glasses and put my glasses on because I can't see a thing. Oh, my God. Uh, today, uh, I got one of these. Now, uh, my assistant, the wife that is, uh, she had a flat tyre in a car. And uh, the tyre, uh, she it was down, really down. It was really flat almost. The rims would have cut into the sidewalls. Uh, but luckily, they didn't. And she drove it slowly down to the garage and pumped the tyre up. And I thought, well, you know, that's just stupid. So I wanted to get something where it is small, compact, no effort because obviously my the uh, my assistant she has uh, uh, osteoarthritis, oh osteoporosis, she has osteoporosis. She's also had a, bo a broken back in two places, and it healed. They healed and they didn't heal properly, so she's now got a hump on her back. <laughs> Uh, she's walking down the streets and the kids keep running after her and she's saying, I haven't got your ball. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I went out and I, I was looking for some little effort and all that, so here's my answer. I do have my power pack. I'll just show you there. I have my power pack there. I'll show you. I'll plug that into there shortly. Uh, but here it is here. And ta-da. I'll do that first. Paid seven quid from eBay. What it is, it's a nice little... Uh, you get these these uh, what they call it's the, the what they call them again uh, different adapters for blowing up uh, uh, air, air beds and uh, and such and yeah one moment you get the different adapters I've got one on there now which this adapter I was using it for. Oh my God! What was he using that for? I was I was pumping up a a a, a little bathtub, a little pool for for Lily May, and it does a great job. So anyway, what happened was then I went outside. Well, I got my assistant and my son did. They went out and to let a tire down on the car. Now I, I they didn't film it. I wanted them to film it, but they didn't. I may do it if anyone wants to see it, pumping up, pumping the tire up. I'll actually do that. But uh, it pumped the tire up brilliantly. And it took the tire up right up. It was pressure. Uh, and it took a total of about five minutes, it was. Uh, five minutes. Well, I'm saying it off the top of my head, but I did write it down at the time. But I'd, when I write things down, I put the, the paper down, what I've written on. And then suddenly... Uh, I can't find it ever again. So anyway, with this, uh, I know it's cheap and nasty. At seven quid, there was some there much more expensive, but I don't want a great big compressor. I don't want uh, anything that's gonna... Think we... And on the box, as you can see there, comes with the adapters, yes, to blow footballs up, pools, ponds, uh, airbeds, car tires, bike tires. <laughs> And it's an air cut. It's a direct cut, twelve volt, and it's fast air, air inflation. And tires, toys, sporting goods, etc. And it was made in China, obviously, yeah. But I didn't buy it from China. I got it from eBay. And it says it's got a maximum three three hundred pound psi. Now, uh, I can quite well believe that, but it is two fifty psa with psi with a maximum three hundred psi. So, the that's what they are. This one's the, the three hundred, but the, neither of them's ticked. You see, they're supposed to be a ticking there, but they don't put a ticking them, do they? But this one is the three hundred uh, pounds per square inch, uh, and it tells you it on there. There we are. We'll show you there. Uh, compressor, compressor wheel, <laughs> and air compressor. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it tells you there. It's a twenty point seven bar. 300 pounds per square inch on direct current. And this is the 2069 K, K, P, KPA. And it comes with a nice little pressure gauge. Yeah, it tells you there. And there's your red mark. I'll just get it up closer to you. 
and uh, I'll show you that working in a minute. And there's the 200 there, but once you go above 200, as you can see, it goes in the red. So you don't really want to be pushing them numbers over the 200 bar. And uh, it, it works absolutely brilliantly. And what I, what it comes with, and all the lead, this lead here, uh, is quite long actually. Uh, let's just check it out. I think the lead was eight to eight or nine foot, something like that. Eight or nine foot long. And it's just a, a little one of these. Whereas I can use it on my, on, on the the uh, thing there. And underneath, as you can see, it's just a little stand, nice little stand there, which I doubt if that stands anymore because we, uh, when I put it down like that, it was like going like mad. But it really does sound, uh, I'll just take this out there. And it really does sound, it's just a normal, you, you know, straight on your car, Clip it down just like uh, yeah, as though you were at the fuel station, petrol station, getting one on. Anyway, I'll plug it in. Uh, I'm going to plug it in down here on my... Uh, I haven't charged this up now. Uh, it's saying 11.76. Something like that. Anyway, I'm going to plug this in this one. And as you can see... It's dancing across the table. I don't know if you can hear me now, but I'll just uh, show you what happens when I block up the uh, hook. And as you can see there, uh, I'm holding up to that as hard as I can. Oh, no, that's uh, but if I put this one in, I'll just put this, this uh, connector in. Uh, Press that down. The, the air, it's unbelievable. The air that uh, comes out at the moment. I haven't got that in tight. I have to put it in. And as you can see there, it blows. It, it, you know, I can blow things around the table. Uh, that is really noisy. <laughs> but as you can see there, I've, uh, I'll block this off a minute and then I'll give, put it under some pressure. And look at it going up there. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold this with, with all, all my force to try and, you know, get it up higher. But I take it up there. And it truly is, a, it's a, a good gauge at all, because it's gauging properly. Right, that's enough. I'm going to turn it off. The only bad thing about it is they didn't put a little switch on it, you know, so that you can turn it on, on and off. But for seven quid, uh, I've, I've stripped it down. I've had a look. My motor's in there, look. Uh, and... Uh, and up here is the little, uh, the the pump that where it plunges up and down there, and then it has a little tank here that literally, it, I think it's I don't think I think that tank's roughly about yeah it might hold two hundred pounds per square inch but to be honest uh, I don't think so, but I do know that it you know you've seen it there I add it up to hundred eighty pounds per square inch that's what all that that so that's more than enough for car tires but uh, when you what happened was we just plug it, just plugged it in, uh, into the car, and then that there, in it goes like that, and then just plugged it into my unit down there, uh, and just left it. Uh, had a chat; they were having a chat and that way and talking. But and there, I asked my my assistant to uh, to time it, and she came up with a, I think it was about five point fifteen seconds or something. So it's uh, 5.15 minutes, so it's like five minutes it took, uh, I'm saying that. So, yeah, uh, not bad. I mean, it's worth it. Wait five minutes. Although I know the bigger ones, they do it longer, but, you know, this is it, it does the job. And I've looked at the internal parts. I've had it stripped down, and it where everything in it, I can't see any reason why it shouldn't last me years and years and years. Uh, I will probably have to put a new... Uh, I would probably have to put a new air pipe on first before I need to uh, re replace this. Yeah, so I'm happy. I've also stuck a, another airbrush pe uh, pipe on it and used an airbrush. Ah, oh, fantastic. So anyone that wants to, uh, that's in the nails or anything, use an airbrush and all that, like, you know, in these cosmetic places, crack on, get one of these. Seven quid, you know, you can buy a couple. There is a bigger one, which costs nine pound. Uh, it's a double one. It has a double one of these on it, and it, it's it's supposed to be 
Uh, I think it goes to about £400 bar. Uh, brilliant. But the price, you can't fault it. You just cannot fault it. And the lead on the cable is quite long. You could actually even, you know, put it into your car window and plug it into your cigarette lighter inside your car and then just wait for it to charge it, you know, to pump up. It doesn't use much electricity, as you can see. It's 12 volt DC. I don't know what the uh, amperage is. Yeah, uh, I don't uh, I think the amperage is on the box. It doesn't use much much power of the battery and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. oh, sorry, yeah, I did get this from China. It was, yeah, I got it from Shenzhen. I always buy from Shenzhen. It comes from Changchung District 3, which is auto parts. That's in uh, Shenzhen, China. And, you know, because, you know, the, the prices are just unbelievable. Anyway, uh, I hope everybody is uh, having a wonderful weekend because uh, it is a weekend now for me. Although this, I don't know when this video is going out. Uh, that's all left to my assistant. Uh, I wish everybody, if it's not the weekend now when you're looking at it, I wish you uh, a good weekend on the weekend coming. <laughs> and I will answer some questions uh, to to a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot, especially people from my own channel. So fantastic! I love you all. Uh, ask you know, like want me to bring my smile on the face back, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, I, I will be getting around to it. I'm just getting myself into a position where I can't let you down, uh, so that I don't let anybody down. That's one thing I hate doing is letting people down. I try, I do try, I do try. So anyway, until then, I do appreciate what everything, everything, everyone's done for me. Uh, I really love everybody on this channel that comes to visit me. On that note, a great big thank you. Goodbye.